Bemidji school officials make major moves in district-wide improvements tonight. In a special meeting, administration took steps to develop a master facilities plan and addressed efforts to close the achievement gap. Jamil Donath explains these initiatives in advancing education and recreation in the community. And we're actually going to be taking some action. A big move forward for improving Bemidji schools. The achievement gap scores are not just something that surfaced last year, as you're well aware of. This is something within the last five years, the trend for American Indian students, special ed, free and reduced lunch. In a special school board meeting Wednesday, administration presented major plans for closing the achievement gap from elementary school and up. Math interventions are key to the individual student success. We would entitle it a math specialist, if you will. Bemidji High School officials outlined four proposals, implementing a reading prep class, an applied science plus course, an attendance incentive program, and lunchtime peer tutoring. It's steering school, it's students helping students, and, um, and it doesn't cost anything. Bemidji Middle School officials also presented three different proposals for reducing the achievement gap in math and reading at the middle school level. They would include adding additional staff, hiring teachers or tutors, and installing a new math program. Overall, our proposals are looking at students that are approximately 12 to 20 some points below passing the state test. Motion carries. The Bemidji School Board also approved to enter into a contract with Northern Minnesota Solutions to develop a master facilities plan. Oh my goodness, it's just overwhelming how much use there is currently and it's growing. Through several phases, the master plan will look to make improvements and additions to the district's outdoor and indoor recreation facilities. It's an awesome opportunity for us as a district and beyond the district, a, a great opportunity for us as a community. While both of these initiatives are long-term, some of the progress will begin to take shape this year. Jamil Donath, Lakeland News. The district has a five-year goal to reduce the achievement gap by 14 percent. The master facilities plan was supported by grant dollars from the Nielsen Foundation. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.